can usually tell by how tan some of these athletes are, but he is smiling, obviously not as exciting when you don't drop any time, but that consistency is so important. So two swims in one day to be able to go 22-42, I'm sure at this point of the season would boost your confidence. So pretty good finish there as we get ready for our A final to come out. And it's another opportunity for us to see Joshua Liendo, one of his very best events. Mathieu Ouellette from Club Natation de Région de Quebec, swimming in lane number nine. In lane number zero, Hossein Fadag, 18 years old from Club Aquatique de Montréal. In lane number eight, Ginsburg, this is from Raymac, 23-4-2 this morning. In lane number one, Rain Arden swam in the B final at the 2023 U Sports Championships in this event, but he was a half a second faster this morning. Here's Stephen Calkins. He won the U Sport Canadian Championships earlier this spring, a part of Canada's Commonwealth team last summer. And in lane number two, James Lebuque swims for the HBC Vancouver, dropped a PB in prelims to snag lane two. Owen Guren, our second Lethbridge swimmer, 22.98 this morning. In lane number three, Liam Weaver. He placed third at last year's Summer National Championships in this event. And Edward Fulham Hoot, the 22.27, a six tenth of a second drop this morning. And the crowd's getting loud here. Lane number four, Josh Liendo. He holds the Canadian record in this event at a 21.61 set last year. And we know he's on record form as he dropped a huge personal best last night in the Hunter Fly getting in that fastest time in the world category. Of course, this is freestyle, a little bit different, but we're talking about experience, we're talking about composure, we're talking about Josh Liendo. He has lane four, the clear favorite in tonight's 50 free. And we'll get a chance to see how close he can get to the world number one. It's a little bit slower than he's been. He's been uh, 21.61, as we've mentioned, the fastest time in the world so far this year, 21.87. Liendo 22.1 this morning. I was talking to Josh's mom earlier and she just kept saying he just is so happy. And a happy swimmer, we learn very well, is always a fast swimmer. Look at the power off the box in lane number four. Josh Leando, super strong, 14 plus meters on the breakout. Look at him go. It's all white water. You can't see too much, but you can definitely tell Josh is out in front. I haven't seen a breath yet by Leando in the middle of the pool. We'll see if he keeps his head down to the wall. And he's going to Leando, 2180 for the win. A new world's number one and a great swim. Second goes to Fulham Wout, 22-26 in lane number five. And third goes to Liam Weaver, Cascade in lane three, 22-69. And we rarely see a massive celebration from Leando, but he definitely had a smile on his face. He was the NCAA runner-up in this event, so I'm sure he's excited to stand atop the Canadian podium here, 2180. Not a Canadian record, a little bit shy of what it is, but a solid, solid time for him here at these trials. A great swim that both Ramon and Charlotte Leando can be proud of. Their son, 2180, world number one now in two events, the 100 meter butterfly and the 50 meter freestyle. Josh Leendo, you are now the fastest in the world in two different events at this point of the season. How did that race feel? Um, it felt good. You know, just I wanted to just clean up some things from this morning, and yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that swim. And last night, I read a quote that you said about the men's program: "We're not here. We're not coming. We're here now." What does it mean to you to represent this growing men's Canadian national team? I mean, it's awesome. I think we're building pretty nice going into next year, even this year. Um, and it's just good to be a part of these guys that are coming up and doing good stuff on the world stage. Okay, well, you still have a couple races left to go here, so we'll be let you get to warm down. But congrats on another world number one time. Josh Leendo, everybody.
Uh, great swim out of Josh Liendo. Probably not as satisfied with that one as he was in that in that butterfly Canadian record, but still the fastest time in the world and dipping under that 22 mark once again. Next up. Have some award presentations. Presenting these awards, please welcome 